Now it's time to add a sample. In the Audio Samples tab of the library, select the All Samples Loop Crate, and then choose a sample and drag it to the deck. Studio will automatically find sample pads for you to use. You can favorite the ones that you like and click and find samples again to find more. Once you have some cue points that you like, you can create your sequence. You can do this by either recording yourself triggering the pads with your computer keyboard or hardware, or you can just paint the notes into the sequencer like we did with the drums. If you want your cue point to play continuously, you can turn on the trigger mode by clicking this button. This means when you paint the note in, it will continue to play. Now I can just paint a single note in pad one and it will loop the sample perfectly. We can also add effects to our sample by displaying the effects panel and selecting an effect to use. There are two effects units to choose from. The left effects unit applies effects to the individual pad selected. and the right effect unit, which applies effects to all the pads in the selected deck. I'm going to apply some sidechain compression to the whole deck. This will make a sample duck in the volume when the kick drum hits. This is a common technique for making samples sit nicely with the drums. Now we've added a nice sample loop to our beat. Now you give it a go.